okay hi guys so uh, in this lecture we'll be talking about uh, more on grignard reagent and then we'll be seeing uh, grignard as a nucleophile so before that let us let us do a question the question so we have something like this a compound something like this let me redraw it here yeah. we have oh attached s attached and nh2 attached and we have x moles of grignard reagent okay and we get this compound after the reaction you need to find the value of x obviously x would be 3 why because all these negative charge have been created by ch3 which which is which was attacking on various uh, acidic hydrogens okay so one important thing to note here is that number of moles of alkane formed is equals to number of acidic hydrogen is equals to number of moles of Grignard reagent used okay now we'll be uh, now we'll be seeing something like Grignard as a nucleophile nucleophile okay now in this case uh, let's understand this with an help of example we have something like CS3 MGBR and we have a formaldehyde so obviously this is partial positive and this is partial negative so what will happen is this will act as a nucleophile and will attach itself to this carbon atom uh, and as a result uh, oxygen will withdraw its bond to accommodate for the incoming CS3 so we would have something like CS3 C H2 O negative and Mg positive Br will get at itself attached to negatively charged oxygen which on passing it with acidic medium again oxygen will catch up uh, this hydrogen and we'll have something like this as the final product okay so from so from of uh, aldehyde we formed a alcohol okay let's take a look at some more examples so we have something like this and we reacted with acetaldehyde this is also called acetaldehyde or oh, this is a common name okay and we pass it on again this CS3 delta minus will uh, act as a nucleophile here and would attach itself here and we'll get something like this okay and then we pass it on in acetic medium we will get something like a secondary alcohol okay it's so two degree alcohol okay let's look at third example where we have again partially negatively charged CS3 MGBR and we reacted with this so we will get something like uh, again this will uh, attack on this carbon atom so we'll get this something like this and obviously mg plus br here and now if we react it with nh4 plus we would get something like uh, cs3 also get got attached here okay no it's not a uh, hydrogen here okay so we have finally get this product
ओ एच ओके दिस इज अ थ्री डिग्री एल्कोहल सो वी हैव द ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्टिविटी इन एल डी हाइड एंड कीटोन एज विद रिकॉट एजेंट एज दिस ओके सो द क्वेश्चन इज why aldehyde has more or is more reactive rather is more reactive than ketone towards nucleophilic addition reaction okay so this is the question so the answer is because of two reasons and those are specifically one that due to the presence of uh, aldehyde is more reactive than uh, than ketone towards uh, nucleophilic addition reaction uh, uh, because first reason is uh, less steric hindrance in case of aldehyde the steric hindrance in aldehyde and the second reason is uh, more positive charge on carbon hence uh, uh, more positive charge on carbon due to less inductive effect in this case if you can see that plus i effect is shown by two r groups and in this case only it's shown by only one adjacent r group attached okay so we have something like more positive charge on carbon due to less plus i effect okay so with this we come to an end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be seeing some more examples on um uh, uh, grignard reagent so till then good luck and goodbye